So lucky we know that finding a job, it's a full-time job. Sometimes it might take a week, a month, six months. It all depends. Sometimes it can also depend based on the candidate, if it's a new immigrant, new student, or mid-career student, uh, um, professional. But in all that, there is this journey. And sometimes it can be draining and sometimes it can be long. And uh, I always tell my clients, have a journal, have a process in mind so that you can stay positive in your job search. Do you have any tips from your experience how people can stay positive during that job search journey? Yeah, I have a couple of tips. And one might be basically differentiating a little bit Mm -hmm. of what positive means, right? Mm -hmm. And I actually encourage folks, instead of thinking about things being positive, yeah. how about being optimistic, right? Mm -hmm. and, and the difference being positive means like it's all rainbows, sunshine, and unicorns mm -hmm. all around and everything's yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not working. You're not employed. That's not great. That's not a great place to be in. But the optimistic side is it can get better. Now, here's your opportunity to find an amazing employer, an amazing role that values you and you can make an impact and contribution. So staying optimistic is one of those things. And then uh, kind of upgrading your, your motivation, right? Yeah. So part of it is what you said, setting the expectations. Mm -hmm. Some people think that it's going to be a week, a month, well, in depending on what economy you're in, <laughs> it yeah. take six so months which or, province, even or which longer. country you or are. which province. Exactly. So it can take time. Mm -hmm. And what most people uh, don't necessarily appreciate is with that time, you need a lot of uh, self care that's there, yes. right? I um, I'm familiar with a race, it's called the Indy 500, right? So the Indianapolis 500, it's a car race where you literally go around the track 500 times, right? And you would think that if all you keep doing is keep going around the track over and over and over again, you would be the fastest and, and win. But that's not the case because yeah. you eventually run out of gas mm -hmm. or your tires explode. <laughs> right? yeah. So if you're going through the job search and every single day for 16 hours a day, uh, going around, 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 around without stopping, then you either run out of gas or you blow up right? in terms of burnout and things like that. Yeah. So adding something as simple as self-care, which is uh, things like meditation, like exercise, like listening yeah. to music, yeah. any of those things that energize and recharge you mm. uh, from the, the video before where we talked about uh, the 5221 journaling, yeah. adding any of those activities that energize you can be super helpful, yeah. right? Uh, and understanding the difference between like energizing and uh recharging right mm -hmm. because there are some things that basically add to your energy level so think of a battery right yeah um your battery is constantly draining at a rate of whatever 10 percent per hour let's pretend and uh when you're doing things like job searching like writing resumes uh, or or networking or practice interviews uh it's taxing and it might drain at 20%, 30% yes. <laughs> for those really challenging ones. So you might uh, basically b baseline and, and, and re-energize re by yeah. uh, making it go back down to that 10% level, right? Mm -hmm. But what instead you could do is also re recharge where you're yes. not just at a 50% level, you're getting to a 70, 80% level uh, and, and recharging your batteries. Yeah. So like I said, meditation, exercise, anything yeah. where you're talking to a friend or family, that can be helpful sure. as well. Sure. Um, accountability partners are great as well, where yeah. sometimes people have study buddies, gym buddies, yeah. well, why not have like a job search buddy, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, so, so they're off doing whatever they need to do and you can have kind of the same sort of... Uh, commitment and mm -hmm. you can even gamify it and say like hey i'm going to apply to to 10 jobs per day and connect with 10 people and if i don't do that then i owe you lunch <laughs> right yeah. uh, and, and turn it into a little bit of a game um and so so having that accountability can be helpful mm -hmm. for many folks in order to stay positive optimistic mm -hmm. and really motivated in the job search can be helpful mm -hmm. and and one last thing is uh taking a look at your purpose Mm. right? Why is landing that job important to you, right? For most folks, it's starting off their career yeah. and being able to, to land that first job. And there's an exercise called the five whys, where yeah. with that answer, you ask, why is that important to you again and again and again? And when you get to that fifth why, assuming it's not repeated and, and you're actually focusing on yourself, yeah. then you get to a core purpose where you're not just submitting yet another resume, you are honoring like 
the legacy of your parents and all the sacrifices that they gave up for you and the the ancestry of all the folks that uh, moved halfway across the world or did all these crazy things in order to help you have a, a potential future in in your, in your life mm -hmm. so that is often more motivating for folks than saying oh i just have to write yet another cover letter right so that's what i would say would be helpful to stay positive is is one like maybe it's not being positive it's being optimistic, optimistic. then uh, adding self-care um having those accountability partners and finding your purpose those are things that i found very helpful in terms of making sure that you sustainably go through your job search yeah i tell my clients have an excel sheet put it let's say monday morning networking in the afternoon going for a coffee with a friend maybe tuesday morning when identifying those companies that you are following them on LinkedIn and inter and engage in their uh, with their content, maybe in the yeah. afternoon go to the gym, go for a walk, go meditate. Maybe if you're tired or burned out, take Wednesday off and then Wednesday afternoon speak with your accountability partner. So and also uh, celebrate the wins, the resumes that you send. Even if a phone call you get but you didn't get the job, celebrate those uh, because that helps you with your endorsements and your mindset sure. and having that uh, kind of a strategy and a plan will help you. And as you mentioned, like it's not just uh, 10 or eight hours just in front of the camera applying, you need to do other things, which is the networking, the personal brand, content creation. It all helps. For sure. Yeah, I, I would say that uh, the more variety that you can add to your day, it can actually take away from kind of the drudgery of the job search. Because you're right, it can be quite challenging where all you're doing is uh, applying, writing cover letters, interview yeah. practice and, and networking and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but if you can add some some exercise and 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 celebrate your wins, I think that's a lot of uh, other helpful, useful advice for for folks in the job search as well. Those are great tips, Loki. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Loki. Mm -hmm.